O representante permanente da Ucrânia junto às Nações Unidas afirmou, nesta quinta-feira, que a situação da segurança no leste ucraniano, região sob direta coordenação e conivência das tropas russas, continua a piorar, e que as gangues terroristas estão se tornando mais cruéis e destrutivas. Despite recent significant success of Ukrainian armed forces that liberated major cities, regional headquarters of terrorists such as uh, town of Slavyansk and Kramatorsk, terrorist gangs changed their tactics. It became crueler, more scenic and more destructive. Since they were forced to move deeper in Lugansk and Donetsk, encircled by Ukrainian army pro-Russian terrorists left after themselves, devastated ruined towns and villages with completely destroyed infrastructure, robbed banks, ATMs, looted stores and supermarkets. Our presentation is dedicated to Russia's direct engagement into fueling terrorism in Donbass region and has an aim to clearly and ambiguous, unambiguously show all of you the latest photo proofs and facts of Moscow's participation in destabilization of the situation in Ukraine. These facts are so obvious as they are so dangerous. Dangerous for Ukrainian, regional and pan-European security. Em um novo desenrolar da crise no país balcânico, um avião da Malaysia Airlines, transportando estimados 295 passageiros, caiu na região oriental da Ucrânia, próximo à fronteira com a Rússia. Investigações preliminares confirmaram que a aeronave foi abatida por um míssil, mas o autor do ataque continua desconhecido. Despite all Russian government statements that this country has no relations with terrorists acting in the east, a huge number of evidences prove that Moscow keeps financing and supporting illegal armed groups that continue to terrorize local population and kill innocent civilians and Ukrainian soldiers. Centro de Informação das Nações Unidas para o Brasil, Unique Hill.